Every year I'm always growing a lot of tomatoes because I do a lot of preserving, drying, and dehydrating of these tomatoes. But the thing is, is that did you know that calcium is like the most important nutrient when it comes to growing these tomatoes? So in this video, it is all about calcium. Why do we need calcium? And where do we get calcium from? And can we use some weird stuff like eggshells and also powdered milk? Let's find out. What's going on my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy, sobriety, ADHD hacks, tips and tricks, and navigating this crazy world using our garden. We can learn a lot from the garden and speaking of learning, eggshells and powdered milk. As I'm going around planting all my tomatoes, I'm gonna to be hitting three different categories of calcium. Why do we want calcium? What does it do for our plants? And also what does happens to our tomato plants when we do not have enough calcium? I've used eggshells before in a previous video, but I really did not get a proper comparison like I need it now. So I'm gonna drop that link right up here and down below. That has really, really good information on a lot of the reasons why some calcium would not be reuptake into your plant. So really go check that out. But for now, I'm going to be concentrating a lot more on eggshells. When it comes to the eggshells, you can obviously just leave eggshells as is and put it in the ground. But how long is that really gonna take to decompose? How long is it going to take before the nutrients can be taken out of the, you know, the eggshells and put into the soil? Forever. It's gonna take a very long time. This is why they're always putting, um, you know, the eggshells into the compost or you can put them in a food processor. And that's exactly what I did. I pulsed the crap out of this. I wanted to get it really, really fine as possible. Part of it is powdery, but a lot of it is just really, really fine, coarse eggshells. Another thing that we're gonna use, which is new, because I've never tried this one, is milk. How many times have you heard people saying that you can use milk in the garden? I mean, of course you can. Of course it can also be decomposed, put in the compost, but really, powdered milk? The question is, how effective is this going to be for our tomato plants when you know giving and providing some calcium? If you have used milk or powdered milk before, do let me know down in the comments below because I am very, very curious and I wanna know. This is gonna be pretty quick because we wanna get this rolling. I have three different plots. The first plot is gonna be like a double experiment. One area is gonna be a control. The other area is gonna have that tomato fertilizer. Some fertilizers just cater strictly to tomatoes because they have a lot of nutrient needs, such as calcium. So that's gonna be over there. This plot where I'm sitting right here is gonna be another double one. This one is gonna be the powdered milk, but also eggshells. Calcium is a very major important for our human bodies, but not only that, it is a major part for our plants as well. Not only does it give us nutrients, but it also helps in the other nutrients being reabsorbed into our, you know, into the plant. I was going to say our body, <laughs> not our body. That's for a separate conversation. Calcium plays a huge role when it comes to plants. I mean, it does not only offer a lot of nutrition, but it does help aid in a lot of uptaking of other nutrients as well. So if you have, don't have calcium, chances are that other, you know, different nutrients can be affected by this. Notice that it's just fine shells. I mean, you still see a bunch of it. A lot of it is just really finely, finely ground up. Calcium helps in strengthening the tomato walls. What I mean by tomato walls is the cell structure of the tomatoes. Now, when it says by firming up the tomatoes, it's the actual tomato itself. It's not mushy. It's a lot more firm of a tomato. And this is why we love the calcium. Whatever problems or issues arises in the soil is going to show and be reflected in the tomato plant itself. So that is definitely going to be an issue if you do not have enough calcium. Great, our tomato plants, we already know that calcium is a major necessity. What happens to your tomato plants if you do not have enough calcium or you do not add any supplements or anything like that? What happens? Well, what happens is, is that that tomato is gonna get blossom and rot. And he, we all know what blossom end rot, it looks like this. Those tomatoes are gonna look, not only look like crap, but it's gonna start rotting out from the bottom. That is what the calcium is doing. The calcium firms the cell walls, firms the tomato up. Blossom end rot, what does it do? It just mushes up the tomato plant and it just dies. So the major reason why you get blossom end rot is because of lack of calcium. Aside from blossom end rot, what other problems can you see when it comes to your tomato plants? Well, one of them is going to be definitely stunted growth. Your tomato plants are going to stay pretty much short. 
They are not going to be prolific growers. They're not going to have a lot of leaves growing. This plant is just going to be stunted. It's not going to show any like any progress. And if it does show progress, it's going to be very, very minimum. So that's another thing to look out for. Yet another problem that you're going to see when it comes to calcium deficiency is going to be lack of fruit production. You're not going to get a lot of tomatoes. I'm just letting you know right now. The lack of calcium is just not going to be a promoting further other nutrients just like phosphorus or potassium. They kind of work hand in hand. So if one nutrient is lacking, it's definitely going to affect the other nutrients. And that is what's going to happen with the stunted growth. And that is really not a good look. Hey, I actually put a name tag on here. Rome, no, this is Peron tomato. Okay. The question is another question. I mean, I always have questions. I'm a curious person. If you have ADHD or you're a neurodivergent, neurospicy as they call it nowadays, are you curious? And this is what happens in the beauty about having a garden is because you can just experiment like crazy. And if you have a creative DIY brain, uh, most neurodivergents do, you can go crazy and get your uh, let your creativity just run wild in the garden. And for me, that's through experiments. I'm leaving some space available so I can plant some uh, flowers or some sort of herb that will just attract some bees and also maybe deter some pests. So that's why I'm leaving a few spots open. Yo, interesting development right now. I just found and uncovered a piece of my charcoal from last year's experiment. The question is, I do not know if it's the bioreactor, like it's been inoculated with uh, microbes or it's just plain charcoal. I guess we're gonna find out. I think I may just leave this in the ground and just see what happens with it. I guess this is just gonna be one of those uh, experiments that we just did not even ask for, but yet, here it is. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. As this tomato grows, you are constantly going to be giving it fertilizer. It needs fertilizer. This is a heavy feeder, but whatever fertilizer you're gonna use, it has to have calcium. If it does not have a decent amount of calcium, remember, tomatoes are heavy calcium, you're going to have to add extra so you may if you are going to be using eggshells you're going to have to be using this a lot frequently these calciums are not enough for the plants that i put on here so i'm going to have to be adding a lot more eggshells over time on top of the soil just keep in mind that these things are just not the only thing that you're going to be relying on you're going to be needing an extra fertilizer on top of this all right this is just going to be taking care of the calcium problem you're going to need additional fertilizers. So if you have worm castings, if you have compost, or if you have your granular fertilizer, make sure to continuously feed your plants. But for now, in addition to your fertilizer, this is where the calcium comes in. So just keep that in mind. This seems to be already powdery consistency, a lot better for the soil than the eggshells. The problem is, is that the eggshells are, not I wanna say free, but you know, you have it readily available. Is that the, the only problem is that you're just going to need so many eggshells for the amount of plants that you have. This looks like it's a lot and I am wondering how much of this powder, you know, the milk powder to put in there. When it came to the eggshells, I put about this amount, maybe a little more in the depth, you know, in. I put about this much and then a little more um, on the bottom of those tomato plants. And of course I put a little bit on top. So I'm wondering how much of an effect will this be? And if so, of course, how long will it take before we start seeing some effects? Mind you, this is just calcium. This is not any additional fertilizers. You're gonna to have to be proactive and add more fertilizer to this. So I gotta remind myself pay attention jack remember that you need more fertilizer aside from just this i really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some great information out of it let me know down in the comments below have you used milk have you used powdered milk have you used eggshells and if you have used eggshells in what form did you crush it up put it in powder i'm a genuinely curious person do let me know and also if you did enjoy this video don't forget to smash that like button i really appreciate it 
Also, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. TikTok is my sobriety and mental health journey, learning more about uh, therapy and psychology. And uh, let's say Facebook is just like my everyday, just whatever floats through my mind, random behind the scenes and things that, you know, come across in my day. So until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. I'll check you out later in the next episode. Peace and love.